The Viewports panel on the ribbon is renamed to be specific to Layout Viewports or Model Viewports. Layout Viewports are accessible from the new Layout Ribbon tab and are relevant when creating viewports on a paper space layout. Model Viewports are accessible from the View Ribbon tab and are relevant when creating viewports in Model Space. Standard Model Space Viewport configurations are easily accessible from a drop-down menu. With the Model Space Viewports created, you can set each viewport to the desired view using standard tools. AutoCAD 2013 is enhanced to make editing multiple hatch objects faster and easier. The Contextual Hatch Ribbon tab is automatically displayed even when you select more than one hatch object. Similarly, when using the command line version of the Hatch Editor, you can now select multiple hatch objects for simultaneous editing. External reference functionality has been enhanced in AutoCAD 2013, making it easier to work with XREF paths. When you attach a file to the current drawing, the default path type is now relative instead of full path. The External References palette now displays the found path as read-only, while the saved path can be easily edited directly from the External References palette. Quick view drawings and layouts are enhanced, making it easier to identify the current drawing in the preview images. Bold text and a colorful border emphasize the act of drawing and layout. A new legacy option in the Snap tool offers increased flexibility when snapping to grid points. If Snap Legacy Mode is set to Yes, the cursor snaps based on the snap spacing regardless of whether you're in a command, specifying points, or selecting objects. When legacy is set to no, the cursor snaps based on the snap spacing only when specifying points within a command. The snap spacing is ignored when no command is active and when selecting objects within a command.